Hey guys, I'm back with another video. I'll be recreating this look today, my everyday makeup look. If you guys like it, then keep on watching. So the first thing I do after I wash my face, I apply toner to remove all the residue on my face and then I apply a nourishing moisturizer and the last thing I apply sunscreen of SPF 30. Apply any lip balsam you want to moisturize your lips. The first step for me is to cover up all the redness in my face. Here for I'm using a green concealer from LA Girl which I'm really 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 loving. So now it's time to blend out all of the green concealer and don't be afraid if you can still see some green in some areas because that will be covered up with foundation. So it's time to apply foundation. I'm using a small brush to dot on the foundation on my face so I get a bit of a higher coverage on areas where I need it. Now I'm using a damp grill technique sponge to blend out the foundation. I really recommend this sponge because you get the same quality as the beauty blender but it's much more affordable. Okay so for the highlighting part I'm using a concealer that's one to two shades uh, lighter than my actual color and I am applying this under my eyes areas uh, between my brows, the forehead, the nose bridge, the cupid's bow and right under my bottom lips and then I am blending this all out so I want my concealer to sit all day so I'm setting it with a powder and I am letting it bake basically Since it's an everyday makeup look, uh, I'm using a bronzing primer and just uh, using a small brush and applying this on the areas where needed. So the cheeks, the jawline, the forehead and the nose bridge as well and blend this all out. As you can see I already filled in my brows. The first thing I do is to brush through my brows with a spoolie and then I fill it in with a powder and then I take the spoolie again and brush through my brows to uh, spread the color and make it lighter and then here I'm using the 3CE uh, eyebrow mascara which I purchased recently from yesstyle.com and I am really loving the color and the pigmentation of this. So I took a powder bronzer and applied more on the cheekbones area to emphasize that area and to make it appear slimmer. So here I also took the powdered bronzer and contoured my nose a little bit more because I wanted to appear uh, higher and slimmer. So now I brush away all of the uh, excess powder which we just baked. We are going to use eyeshadow so here I am applying a eye primer first. And then I am using a skin toned color which is white or beige for me. Following that we take a brown color and apply this on our eyelid and also above the crease. Then we take the powdered bronzer and only apply this on your eyelids. Then take a new brush and just blend it all out. So here I'm using a glitter highlighter to highlight the highest point of my cheeks where the sun hits and also the highest points of my brows. Then set everything in with a translucent powder or a setting powder. So I take a pencil liner and draw in my waterline to make my lashes to appear fuller and then my camera light on me. But I did use eyeliner and followed my natural eye shape the Korean way. And then I apply two coats of mascara, one for full lashes and one for longer lashes. So the lips are totally K-pop, K-drama inspired. I use a natural pink color here as my uh, base color. So then I take a lip lacquer in fuchsia pink and I apply this on the inner part of my lips. Then I take a Q-tip and spread out the darker pink on my lips. 
And finally I take my foundation sponge and dab that on the outer part of my lips so I get a gradient look. So this is basically my go-to makeup look. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe. Head over to my blog linavu.com for uh, further information on all the products. And also you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat at linavuofficial. And I'll see you there guys.